Hi everybody. So this is going to be my video to go along with my talk in class on the introduction to computer image. The big ideas are pixel and resolution. Every single talk like this, I'm always going to try to have two big ideas, and those are going to be your computer science terms, your vocab, that you really want to, when you come out of this class, remember. So on our first one, pixel. Some of you may know this word because it was the title of a movie this year. Pixel. What is a pixel? A pixel is the smallest piece of an image that can be shown on a screen. Think of a pixel as a visual building block. Every image is built out of hundreds or thousands or even millions of pixels. So I'd like you to get close to your computer screen. Maybe move your mouse around. When you move your mouse to the middle of the screen, if you get up as close as possible, the closer and closer you get to it, you can start to make out the individual pixels. Right here is an image where the mouse cursor has been magnified about 40 times. You, so you can see very easily the individual pixels. The second image is of Minecraft, where while it isn't an actual pixel, the blocks act like pixels. Every computer screen you have ever seen has a pixel count. These are what pixels look like on old TVs. These are what the pixels look like on new computer screens, on your computer screen right now. On the left here, we have an image. It's just the letter R, and here's what it looks like when it's 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Here's what it looks like when it's 50 by 50, 20 by 20, 10 by 10, 5 by 5, and 2 by 2. As you go down, you lose quality. Pixel. Think of a pixel as a visual building block. Here is the timeline of Mario going through the ages. As you can see, he gets more and more pixels. This brings us to our next term, our next big idea, resolution. What's resolution? Resolution is the quality of an image, but really it's how many pixels are in an image. A lot of you have heard of HD, right? HD TV, HD video games. Sometimes you watch YouTube. Sometimes it's very low quality. That's usually standard definition with less pixels. Sometimes it's high quality and that means it has more pixels. So an example of the, your medium HD is 720p and that's 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. That's 12, so there's over a thousand pixels when you go left to right and there's about 750 when you go up and down. When you're looking at a HD 1080p monitor, there's going to be almost 2,000 pixels left to right and over 1,000 up and down. So resolution is the quality of an image. As you can see, when you gain more pixels, you gain higher and higher quality of an image. It looks better and better. You know this probably from YouTube. How many pixels are in that image? Increase the quality. That's also called resolution. Low res, high res. Looks very poor, looks very good. A hundred pixels of LeBron, 10,000 pixels of LeBron, or a million pixels of LeBron. Which looks better? Obviously, the higher resolution image. It has more pixels. Does this make sense? I hope so. So normal TV, back when I was a kid, was standard definition. That was about 600 by 400 pixels. We just talked about 720p and 1080p. The new television quality that is coming out and in movies that is upcoming is 4K. 4K televisions just started coming out in the last two or three years, but they're often over 500, 1,000, even $10,000. A 4K image is almost 4,000 pixels left, right, and over 2,000 up, down. Some of the world's fanciest televisions are now 4K curved TVs. I believe this LG television costs $20,000. Ultra HD 4K. 
One way to look at the difference in resolutions is on YouTube. If you click the button in the bottom right of videos, you'll be able to change the resolution from standard definition to 720 to 1080, and sometimes if it's a very high quality image to 4K. 4K runs very slowly though, so be careful. Anyone know what these phones are? Samsung, Apple. I want to move on to the next part of the assignment. I want everyone to jump onto Google Classroom and go to assignment number six. We'll begin researching what resolutions our phones have. Thank you.